All right, welcome back, everyone. Uh, we're going to do another book review. This is part four, Facts by Black Americans before 1619. Of course, this is a reprint of a 1700s document by a German professor uh, that details the, transatlantic, the beginnings of the transatlantic slave trade. So let's get right into this thing. The topic today that we're going to pull out of the book is referencing demonization. All right, and we'll you'll understand it when we when we hit it. So just as a quick review, uh, the key notes from previous videos, we understand now from this document, the 1700 document, that the transatlantic slave trade was started with the Spanish and Portuguese Inquisition. We also know that the terms Black Portuguese, Negro, and Jew were referencing the same people. We also understand there was another group of Black people called the Black Moors, and we know that the Black Moors and Black Jews were a distinctly different group of people. We also learned through this document that the Pope and the government agreed to a royal order that only targeted the Black Jews or the Negroes for the slave trade. This is huge. The next thing that this document pointed out is that the black Jews or the Negroes were taken as slaves to Brazil, Central America, West Indies, Fernandina, Puerto Rico, and Jamaica as slaves and also the New Spain territories. We also learned that the Spanish and Portuguese tried to enslave the natives but ended up almost completely depopulating every continent. This is huge. This is why this document is, is just such a valuable document. It's, it's not a long read, it's, uh, you know, uh, but it's packed full of valuable information. That's why I'm doing these book reviews. So when you read it, you'll be able to pull these things out. So the key point for the day is that the Spanish and Portuguese use demonization tactics to get around the laws of protection. Well, what do I mean? The laws of protection, where there were certain laws uh, you know, uh, that they were supposed to follow when they were doing uh, the conquest of the different islands and the different continents. Uh, and, you know, uh, Queen Isabella, you know, uh, she she didn't really want them to treat the people, uh, you know, uh, in a harsh manner unless there was a reason to do so. So when they got to um, the islands, they realized how how nice these people were. They were really just great people. And so in order to get around the laws, they had to demonize the people and tell the people back home how awful these people were. And so they used these demonization tactics to get around the laws of protection. So we see this here on page 13 uh, of the book. We read a little bit of this on the last review. We're going to go a little bit deeper into it. It said the poor Indians were now forced to die for pearls, to wash gold sand and to work gold and silver mines for their new masters. They were often carried far from their native uh, home. And in short, they were so miserably fed and used that in a short time, these countries were entirely depopulated. This was a key point from, from the last one. In order to supply that loss, the Spaniards carried off the other Indians who were not yet subdued by stratagem or force, especially from the Lacayan Islands. The Spanish court at last prohibited those violences. So I want you to see this. This is the key point to what we're talking about today. The Spanish court at last prohibited those violences. In other words, they in the court system, they said, you know, don't treat the people in a violent way. But it said the Spaniards soon found means for evading the orders of their court. They decreed the Indians in Europe as the most sanguinary race of savages. In other words, they sent word back to Europe that these people that they were dealing with were awful people. They demonized them. They were sangu sanguinary race of savages. So it says on which Ferdinand repealed his former orders and bade them carry off these cannibals by force from their native places and to treat and sell them as slaves. With a great deal of pains and dangers, the Spaniards now carried away the number of laborers wanted for the uh, uh, exigency, but soon found them too weak to support long and hard labor. Now, this is this was the key to them targeting then the Negroes and saying, uh, we want you to target the Negroes and not the, not the Moors uh, for slavery. B but the key to this particular lesson is, is showing you the inside look at the tactic that, that, that they use in order to conquer uh, other people, even to get around the court systems. We see this at, at play today, and I don't think we understand how how huge of a deal it is 
until the till you know really really bad things uh, start to happen. But they 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 they. they they demonize us, you know, and they demonize immigrants and they're eating cats and dogs, they're, they're demonizing uh, the others. And you can see it in the news cycles today. And it's a dangerous thing. And they're talking about civil wars and all these type things. But this is the type thing that they've used in the past to demonize and to have an excuse to go in and do the things that they were wanting to do. Uh, to begin with. So this is a key. This document is so strong. It, you know, it it's telling us all the things that they that, that they did uh, to, um, you know, target a specific group of people. And then also, you know, how these islands were depopulated because they used a tactic that they continue to use of demonization on people to cast a lie on people to give them an excuse to basically decimate whole groups of people. So let's look at this again, just to uh, review. Uh, in this document, this this is a key document. That, you know, you, you got to show your kids this. You got to show your parents this. This is huge. The transatlantic slave trade was started with the Spanish and Portuguese Inquisition. The terms Black, Portuguese, Negro, and Jew were referencing the same people. The Black Moors and, and Black Jews were a distinctly different group of people. Uh, the Pope and the government agreed to a royal order that only targeted the black Jews for the slave trade. The black Jews and the Negroes were taken as slaves to Brazil, Central America, West Indies, Fernandina, Puerto Rico, and Jamaica as slaves and in the New Spain territories. The Spanish and Portuguese tried to enslave the natives but ended up almost completely depopulating every continent. The Spanish and Portuguese used demonization tactics to get around the laws of protection, which gave them the reason to go in and slaughter uh, millions of people. So I just wanted to give a quick review on that. We got to stay vigilant, uh, you know, and understand the spirit that's working now, uh, you know, in this country is, is different. It's ramping up. I'm sure you guys picked up on it. And so you can't put things past some people, you know, and, and what they might do. But anyway, make sure that you get this book. Uh, there's a free download if 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 you don't have, you know, the funds to 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 buy the book. You get a, you can go back. I got the old document uploaded, so you can download the the, the free documents for that. I also revised uh, or re-edited uh, the the book from the old English, uh, so it'll be an easier read. Uh, and you can get the uh, ebook. It's an ebook that you can download, plus those free documents that I mentioned uh, for a price of ten dollars. And uh, I also did an audio book for those who like to ride and listen or do whatever. Uh, I got an audio book for you to download, and you get the ebook, and you get the free documents for fifteen. So any one of these, um, you know, choices. Uh, use the one that's best for you, but make sure you use it. Make sure you share it with your family, share it with your, your with your parents, share it with your children, share it, you know, nephews, aunts, you know, share it with them. You know, this is documentation from 1700s, you know, so it's, it's, uh, it's good information. But anyway, just want to share that with you. Uh, you know, stay vigilant. Shalom. In a shocking 1700s historical document to black Americans, a German professor used the term Negro as a reference to black Jews both in Africa and in Portugal. The author also makes a clear distinction between the black Jews and black Moors. The Moors were largely a distinctly different mixture of black people, most of whom had converted to the Muslim faith. The author candidly points out that the black Jews were specifically targeted for the slave trade, and that the black Moors were intentionally avoided, and that the Negroes also known as black Jews were then sent to the Americas during the slave trade. Get your ebook and audiobook bundle today. Choose from the following three options. Option 1. Get free copies of the original 1700s documents only. Option 2. Get an easy to read edited ebook, plus free copies of the original 1700s document for a low price of $10. Option 3. Get an audiobook for easy listening, plus the easy to read edited ebook and also free copies of the original 1700s document for a low bundle price of $15. Learn the real history they don't want you to know.